the exciting adventures of an elfish will-o'-the-wisp, Jack-o'-lantern. Who's the brother scraping, chopping holes in me pumpkin and letting in the draft fit to give a body a case of the vapors? Oh, Michael! My, my, fancy that. It talks. The old talking pumpkin trick, eh? Is there no one here with the common decency to answer a civil question? Who's been cutting up me pumpkin shell? Oh, don't be afraid, Colleen. Michael? Colleen? What beautiful names you have. Takes me right back to the old sod, the very sound of them. I cut the holes in your shell, Mr. Pumpkin. Sure, and I'm a leprechaun, not a pumpkin. A leprechaun? Leprechaun? That I am. I just changed myself into a pumpkin seed to hibernate for the winter. And a fine rest I was having, till youth come hacking away at me boudoir with your carving knife. Gosh, Mr... Uh, Mr. Jack. Uh, Jack O'Lantern is the name oh. of the Donegal O'Lanterns, I'll have you know. I'm sorry about your pumpkin shell, Mr. O'Lantern. We were just trying to make a head for our scarecrow. Tisn't the crows that be freezing the earth and scorching your crops, and tisn't the crows that be eating your corn and rhubarb every night. Then who? Tis the ghosts, the ghouls and goblins, and herself Zelda the witch, along with her jellyfish of a husband, Sir Archibald, the warlock. Neither Colleen nor I slept a bit that night. We just lay there in our beds, shivering with excitement. And a few minutes before the witching hour, we quietly sneak out to meet our new friend, Jack O'Lantern, and heaven knows what else. There they come now. <laughs> oh, really, Zelda, darling, must you cackle like that? It's hardly ladylike. How many times do I have to tell you, stupid? Witches aren't supposed to be ladylike. <laughs> Yeah, every night the same old noise. Can't we spend a nice, quiet evening at home once in a while? I don't think she's a very nice lady. I'm not too crazy about the sissy with the pumpkin, either. Do your stuff, Billy, me boy. <laughs> you see, Jack-o'-lantern, this is another one of your ghastly tricks. That ought to hold you, old chap. That's really dirty, Poole. I dare say Zelda will raise an awful fuss about this. 